The ten most annoying things about the credit crunch. Right. Uh, because it's very annoying, isn't it? it? Is. Uh, it's wall to wall and it's in the back of your mind all the time. So at number ten, the names. There are so many strange names being bandied about, mainly American bankers Oscar Lufenfarfen and uh, Fannie Mae. Mm -hmm. And Mervyn King, of course, who is. Exactly. Uh, Hank Greenberg, he's a guy. Right. Uh, who else? Oh, Gilman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. Something Sachs. Oh, yeah. Who? I've heard that name. Exactly. But you don't know. No. No. Very annoying, that. Mm. At number nine. Ninth most annoying thing about the credit crunch. Who are all these organisations that you suddenly start hearing about? Yesterday you heard about nobody more than the Financial Services Authority. Mm. Who are they? Are they British? Are they American? Are they European? What do they do? The Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development. Now, you'll be pleased to know, Rosalie, that I heard a rumour once that they are actually called Neddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know. It's all very annoying. Eight. Eighth most annoying thing about the credit crunch is all the alliteration. It has to be alliterated now, otherwise it is not a proper headline. No. It's a credit crunch. It's Manic Monday. It's Terrible Tuesday. I love what you said to me the other day. Well, what are they going to call it when we get to Friday? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seventh most annoying thing about the credit, credit crunch is that journalists are loving it. Loving it, especially the financial journalists. All of a sudden, they're top story. They're on the front page. People are asking them what's going on, as if they know. And they pretend <laughs> they do. <laughs> Fantastic for them, but for the rest of us, having to plough our way through stories about how the Financial Services Authority, headed up by Mervyn King, in conjunction with Hank Greenberg, are going to approach the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development to find out from Goldman Sachs what went wrong with Fannie Mae. Six. Exactly. <laughs> Six. <laughs> you know, all these pictures of sacked bankers, aged 12, <laughs> coming out of their shops, with a, out of their banks, with a cardboard box and a putter and an enormous smile on their pretty little faces. Eight? As if they've walked, you know, with a nice wedge. Oh, I see. See what I'm saying? Five. Um, mega banks getting massive handouts. Organisations which are no more essential to our existence than your local jeweler's shop, which, if it went belly up, would just have to put up chipboard, wouldn't it? But if you're a mega bank, no. You can go to George Bush or Gordon Brown and you can say, oh, about 50 billion, well, it should cover us until about Tuesday fortnight. <laughs> yeah, sure, fine. How is the miss? Four. Number four, fourth most annoying thing about the credit crunch. You say to yourself at home, perhaps we should cut back. You do. Every day you go, maybe we don't need that. You say, oh, look. Well, maybe we should just, um, eat the carpet. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> Number Save three. That. Um, overused phrases. Everything at the moment is at an all-time low. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a lazy phrase, because all-time means going back to when the Earth was a ball of hot rock, OK? <laughs> Isn't it? Or when the highest yeah, form of true. intelligence on the planet was slime. Mm. OK, that's all time low. <laughs> They're just being bloody lazy. Because if they wanted to, they could check their facts and find out that so-and-so is at the lowest it's ever been since 1937. And that's yeah. the kind of work you want done for you. Let me right. Because you bought the paper, haven't you? Yeah. You spent your money. Maybe you shouldn't have. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Second most annoying thing about the credit crunch is the nagging feeling that somebody somewhere has just put down a cash down payment on yet another private jet. Yeah. Or a 300-foot yacht. Yeah. Somebody. Somewhere. And the number one most annoying... The thing about the credit crunch is there's nothing we can do about it. Absolutely nothing you or me or the good listener driving along this morning or rushing around the kitchen wondering whether they ought to skip coffee because it is quite expensive. There's <laughs> nothing we can actually do. No. We can't do anything. If we could punch somebody's lights out, fantastic. But we can't. No. We're screwed. Great. <laughs> Well, not really. It's always darkest just before the dawn. That's not true, actually. 